In Subtitle Edit 3.6.2, the option to ban in subtitles to a video was introduced. This is a really cool feature that I've loved and it's a, something that I've always wanted inside Subtitle Edit. Now, with Subtitle Edit 3.6.3 being released on 11th November 2021, there are some few additions to that particular feature that I'd like to introduce to you. So, you'll need to download the latest version of Subtitle Edit 3.6.3 and it's free, uh, link in the description below. Uh, and this is Subtitle Edit 3.6.3. So, I just want to show you what I like and what I feel that should be improved in this particular version so that it can be actually a little bit better. So, let's just open up a video. Uh, just any video file that I have subtitles for, just click on that, open, and then just go to file, open, keep video, just look for any subtitle that I have for that, let's go with this one, just click on open. Now, uh, basically, this is what the interface looks like, no need to fuss around uh, with it uh, that much. All we want to look at is the burning option in subtitle edit 3.6.3 what has been improved and uh, room for improvement. So we'll need to go to video or basically once you're done creating your subtitles and you want to ban them to your video inside subtitle edit, it's pretty simple. Just come up to video, generate video with banned in subtitles. Just click on that. And once you do that, now we have a new interface here. Pretty slick. Uh, you can set the font size based on the size of your video, based on what you want. You can change the font family, pretty awesome. You can also fix right to left via Unicode characters, align right, have an opaque box around the subtitles, etc. It really depends on what you want. Then there's a video option where you'll see the resolution, encoding, the presets, CFRs, and tune for different things like film, animation, or grain. Really depends on what you're looking for. And then we have the target size. Uh, if you want to target the same size of the video, you go for the two pass encoding. Now, I tested this option when uh, Subtitle Edit 3.6.3 was in beta. For some strange reason, I did not get the result I was looking for. So, I'm still going to leave it as it is. I don't target uh, the file size or anything. And as for the audio, I just leave it as it is. But there are different options where you can choose from. Uh, just try it out and see what works for you. So, two things I wish uh, would be available here. Instead of having this whole section without anything uh, for the audio, it would be awesome to have a small preview window rather than a button because if you want to preview the result of your subtitles once they are banned into the video, you'll need to click on the preview. And once you click on the preview, then what happens is you'll see what it's going to look like. There is some time between on and off, uh, between when you click on that and when the preview window appears. Now. That is more or less time wasting. Uh, hopefully, yes, actually, if they can actually just, uh, let's just assume we can have just like, I know it's not going to make any sense, but hopefully it makes sense. A small window where you can clearly see what is going to happen. And if you don't like uh, preview what you want to preview or like what you see from the small window, now you can actually click on the magnify or the maximize button to see this particular option in uh, the maximum uh, resolution or preview. So that is one thing. Number two, as for the opaque box, my assumption or hope and prayer is that we can have an opaque box for each line. That is, if you check this uh, box for opaque box, uh, there could be an option if you just want a block for the whole thing or just every single line to have an opaque box with clear demarcation that this opaque box is for this particular line and this opaque box is for this particular line with like a space or whatever. So those are the only two things I feel I need to address as what I feel subtitle edit 3.6.4 or whatever version comes out next needs to incorporate. Finally, what we were lacking were these different options here uh, where we could set all those options that we wanted and then the option to have like a progress bar down here. This is available in subtitle edit 3.6.3 and once we click on generate, we're going to be prompted where we want to save our file and uh, what you'll notice is that 
it gives the name of the particular file that you're working with actually uh, the video and then it adds in burning and then the resolution and then the encoding x264 so uh, if that is okay with you you can leave it as it is and by default the saver's type is mp4 you can just click on this if you want to have it as mkv matroska or webm but i'll leave it as mp4 and then click on save once you click on save it's going to start burning in the subtitles to the video just click on save and you'll see a timer which is really awesome for us to see this inside subtitle edit you don't really need too many applications to create open captions or subtitles for your videos or somebody else's videos all you need is subtitle edit it's doing everything as advertised so let's do a quick preview once it's done you'll get this notification and then you can click on open containing folder it's going to open the folder down here and highlight the video that you just want just double click on it with the recent app so you'll see what it looks like so basically it's pretty simple it on based YouTube on the interface. font that you choose it's now easier than what uh, whatever you want and that is how all the improvements that have been made inside subtitle edit 3.6.3 really awesome application congratulations to the guy that does this job tirelessly and listening to the suggestions that we always make based on what we feel can improve subtitle edit to compete with paid for applications if you're on a budget if you don't have the money and you just want to make content accessible to other people so those are my thoughts on the recent update of subtitle edit from subtitle edit 3.6.2 to subtitle edit 3.6.3 the burning option something that i've come to love and thank you so much for this good application thanks for watching my name is david until next time stay safe and never stop learning thank you so much for watching